As a parent myself and a doctor at Generations Chiropractic, I see many children struggling with unresolved anxiety, poor sleep, low immunity, or inflammation despite parents' best efforts to support their health. This even carries over into the behavior with frequent meltdowns and an inability to self-calm or regulate. These continual daily struggles many kids face may point to a perpetually stuck-on stress response wreaking havoc on their nervous system. Over 77% of today's youth suffer from chronic health conditions with neurological and mental health disorders among the most prevalent. While the underlying drivers are complex, more clinical research spotlights dysfunctional nervous system patterns hiding below the surface. Specifically, when a child gets stuck in perpetual fight-or-flight mode, the cascade of stress hormones and tripwire reactions impair vital processes like digestion, immunity, and development. The restorative parasympathetic rest and digest activation becomes suppressed and shut down. This imbalance ripples into a vicious cycle that's tough to unravel. We refer to this as the perfect storm, where successive stressors beginning as early as pregnancy overload young nervous systems, sustain activation of the fight or flight sympathetic nervous system, and disrupt healthy nervous system regulation for years. This video is the contrast to this to get at the root cause of the struggle. How we help our kids handle this perfect storm and fight or flight response to reset the nervous system, release those stuck stress responses, and renew the vagal tone so that the child can better rest, digest, and regulate once again. So how do kids get stuck in this fight or flight stress response to begin with? The human nervous system toggles between um, activated and relaxed states. Temporary danger triggers the fight or flight cascade of rapid breathing, tension, and cortisol release to handle threats. Once the danger passes, the parasympathetic system signals recovery and restores balance. However, nervous system regulation processes suffer when stress hormones and reactions stay locked on. The vagus nervous system's function is key to the impact of stress at a deeper level. The vagus nerve is the central command for activating the body's rest, digest, and regulate parasympathetic nervous system. This critical nerve interface regulates digestion, breathing, heart rate, and inflammation and is more tied to restoration. We also now know that the vagus nerve is essential to social and emotional regulation, speech, and so much more. Impaired vagal tone leaves kids stuck in fight or flight, creating a condition known as dysautonomia. This dysautonomia or out-of-balance autonomic nervous system can then lead to a host of other chronic health challenges in kids, many of those that I've mentioned above. What does getting stuck in fight or flight look like in kids? Here are the signs a child may be stuck in a fight or flight mode. Um, They have heightened baseline anxiety, worry, and panic responses, frequent emotional meltdowns and outbursts, disrupted sleep and nightmares, loss of appetite or overeating, increased food sensitivities and allergies, new onset of headaches or body aches, overreaction to minor frustrations, poor focus and concentration troubles, frequent illnesses and decreased immunity, persistent fatigue or hyperactivity. When a child's nervous system gets overloaded and stuck churning out stress chemicals, it manifests in a range of symptoms that can disrupt health and development, leading to anxiety and mood changes, cognitive and behavioral changes, physical hurdles, including headaches, body tension, abdominal pain, low energy, and immune weakness, and then growth and developmental delays. So how do we get our kids out of this fight or flight long term? At at home, the most effective ways to downshift the nervous system from a state of being stuck in fight or flight include daily breathing exercises to engage the relaxation response, gentle movement like yoga to process cortisol, ensuring optimal nutrition to replenish drained reserves, and taking natural supplements to gently modulate inflammation, and focusing on getting good restorative sleep. 
However, time and again, we meet parents who have tried everything under the sun to help their child learn to calm, regulate, and balance their emotions and nervous system, but to no avail. Therefore, in most cases of a stuck-on fight-or-flight nervous system, the first essential step in reactivating the parasympathetic nervous system and vagal tone is seeking out neurologically focused chiropractic care. These neurologically focused adjustments can target vagus nerve stimulation and activation that releases pent up and stuck stress within the nervous system and on the sympathetic side. And these are more potent than breathing exercises, yoga, and supplements in many cases. Once the adjustments begin to restore better sleep patterns and improve baseline neurological health, then parents and other people in the child support network can begin to teach them breathing exercises and calming physical activity, and then adding in some anti-inflammatory supplements and nutritional programs. If your child battles symptoms and conditions that can be tied to a stuck on fight or flight nervous system, and it feels like you've tried everything already to get them better, then it's likely time to address the nervous system dysregulation and subluxation that might be the missing link that you've been searching for. To get started with neurologically focused chiropractic care, DM us and visit the link in our bio to read more.